And now to Hurricane Maria, which is pounding the Caribbean. A Category 5 storm slammed into the island of Guadeloupe today. 165 mile per hour winds and in St. Croix, rain is falling as the storm churns closer, threatening catastrophic damage to the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. And we have team coverage on the storm. Brian Hackney is tracking Maria's path. But let's begin with Alan Martin with the plan to get ready for another massive storm. Alan? Yeah, can you believe it, Ken? Hurricane Maria being blamed for at least one death on Guadalupe. Other people are missing, and at least 80,000 homes are without power. Now, Maria made landfall last night on the island of Dominica, bringing ferocious wind and rain. It's the strongest hurricane to ever make landfall there, and now it is taking aim at Puerto Rico. Hurricane Maria is plowing its way through the Caribbean. This is the drenching rain on the island of Guadalupe as the powerful Category 5 storm made landfall on nearby Dominica. Now Maria is on course for the U.S. Virgin Islands in Puerto Rico. Por su, por su seguridad. Today, the governor of Puerto Rico went house to house trying to convey the seriousness of the storm. We need to get the people out of uh, the flooding uh, prone areas. We need to get the people out of, you know, out of the vulnerable housing that will uh, essentially just fly off. If Maria holds its current strength, it'll be the most powerful hurricane to hit Puerto Rico in 85 years. Time is running out for residents to get to shelters. How many shelters do you have open and how many people can you shelter? 500 shelters uh, right now, uh, probably upwards uh, 150,000. Maybe we can push it more. Puerto Rico's governor says he expects the entire island to lose power and be in a blackout for days. Last week, parts of the U.S. Virgin Islands took a pounding from Hurricane Irma and are now bracing for Maria. St. Thomas and St. John are still dealing with the widespread devastation from that storm, and it looks like St. Croix may see the worst of Maria. Now, President Trump has already signed emergency declarations for both Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Ken? Alan, thank you for that. Let's turn it over to meteorologist Brian Hackney, who's tracking Maria's path. Brian, we were looking at all that debris out there. All that stuff's going to get picked up, thrown through the air again. Second time around, absolutely. That uh, probably will happen, especially because you couldn't have taken a pencil and drawn a straighter line over the island of Puerto Rico than what is actually forecast to happen. As you can see, Maria, while it had a bit of the breath knocked out of it overnight, regained strength as it's now over uh, the warm tropical oceans. And as a result, uh, it has been upgraded back to uh, where it was before, Category 5. It's now uh, 60 miles southeast of St. Croix. But look at Puerto Rico. It takes it right over the top of the island. It'll switch from a Category 5 to a Category 4 with winds of around 150 miles an hour when it makes landfall sometime and within 24 hours at Puerto Rico. So it's going to be a major, major problem. Liz?